it would have been a crime to not start this video up off with looking at some of the artwork from Alex Ross for Captain America. I have actually met him several times, well once actually, and I uh, got some things signed for him. I will be going to get some more artwork signed for him this week. And, but uh, yeah, let's get into the review. Welcome to World Record Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Record Coup, and today I'm reviewing the Marvel Legends 80 Years Captain America, or the Alex Ross version, if you will. These black straps do not come with this. This is from the previous Captain America, and I just wanted to add them on here. My shield is off centered. But nonetheless, um, let's take a look at this figure. Um, so starting off, this is perhaps my favorite Captain America um, figure of all time. Um, are my eyes straight? No, they're a little bit off. A little bit too wide. Um, but trust me, um, if you're going to get this guy, there are going to be so many errors and problems with some of the paint apps um, that it is atrocious. So just be wary about that. Um, that said... He still is an awesome figure. I'm trying to find out where my extra head is. Okay. Found out what I was looking for. Um, but yes, there's a lot of errors and problems with this figure um, that you might run into when you're at the store. Uh, case in point, mine has a couple of paint apps here and there or glaring issues with the paint. One right there. Um, the A is not super, super clean. Um, but you know, uh, as far as the body goes, it looks like it's a new sculpt. Um, and I must say, I'm really, really digging this sculpt. Like the chainmail, this is the first time we've ever got uh, actual scales on here on a comic release version. I know the Worthy Cap did have it as well. Um, you can see here that this shield is off, it's not perfectly centered like it should be. See? You can tell the difference there. I may end up switching these two shields out because of that. That really does bother me. Like, how do you mess that up? Come on, Hasbro. Come on. Especially considering this is a $25 figure. Um, you can tell the scales are different color here than the chest that has like a little nice pearlescent sheen on it. I really love that it goes from dark to light up here. Um, I think that's excellent. The colors are clean on the body though. Um, the belt looks nice. Um, the legs look nice. The boots are probably the same from the previous release. But I mean, I gotta hand it to him. You know, besides his shield being all jacked up and a couple issues here and there, I must say I'm really relatively happy with it until we get to some of the accessories. Um, let's see if we can clean this up. So on my head, and why won't that focus? You can see clearly right here that uh, it's off. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with my camera, but that's what it is. Um, if you look at the A, it's really off-centered here. Um, so are the eyes. But I hear, but I've looked through three of these. Went to Walmart today. There was six on BrickSeek, and they were not on stock or not on the rack. They were on a side aisle, like still in the box, and there's only three of them left, even though it showed three. So I'm not sure what Walmart's doing on there or over there, but I can't stand when we get exclusives for Walmart. It just really sucks. Um, they don't do a good job um, getting their, their, their stuff, their figures out, and it's just a hassle trying to go through and find these things. But anyway, uh, back to the subject matter at hand. Um, he comes with two heads. You can barely tell the difference. Once more, Alex Ross, uh, and I believe it's this one. I could be wrong. Um, I don't like this head at all. It looks kind of, I mean, both heads aren't the best, but they're better than the previous head. And I'll do a comparison on those. Uh, I wish Marvel would give us more of a difference uh, between these two heads. But again, uh, that's what it is. He does come with two graspy hands. He also comes with two fist hands. Which are fine, you know, uh, you, you want to have that. Then there's that throwing shield hand that's pretty awful, but, you know, some people still like it, so 
you know you can put some pictures on there make it look pretty cool if you want or try to anyway um, and he can wear the previous fingers or hands from the last Captain America so that's cool you can have a pointy finger or a you know salute hand so I'll definitely be keeping those portions um, and here's how he looks without the other items so you can see um, he's got pretty good articulation um, pretty much the same as the previous cap to be honest with you um, so nothing groundbreaking here but at the same time also uh, pretty good articulation so I mean, he can look up pretty, hell, pretty well although he does have a bit of the lollipop syndrome he can look down very well um, but he's very photogenic photogenic Logenic. There we go. Um, now let's do some comparisons with this guy. Because again, like I said, he's my favorite Captain America. I'm not even going to do a review on what's the best one because the eye test will show you right there. Um, this is a fine Captain America right here, but this one's much better. So as you can see, here's the uh, Onslaught Wave Captain America versus next to the 80 Year Captain America. And it's not a contest. Um, I think the legs might be actually the same, except for up here. But the stripes are actually molded in versus just painted. The chest is too molded in, not just painted, including the star. Um, the hands, I believe, are the same. They look like it. Um, but those head scopes, very different. Very different. And I like that you can't see his eyebrows like here. Like, when did we start saying his eyebrows? I don't, maybe I'm wrong. In the comments, let me know if you remember him having eyebrows shown in his costume. I don't like that. Um, never did like that. Uh, but I think this is the definitive Captain America. So you let me know what you think in the comments. Um, the other Captain America that was my favorite Captain America was the MCU version. But now that we got this bad boy here, um, it is by far him. And even if we had the worthy, if, if I had the worthy, I just I had a chance to get it twice. I passed because I already have the Civil War and it just wasn't enough of a change. I've got an extra Mil uh, Milnor with, already at home. I could have really just made it myself and I opted not to. So there we go. So there's my Captain America collection. Um, and I'm calling it this one the best one. So if you disagree, come at me, bro, in the comments and uh, let's discuss. Until next time, peace and stars and stripes, Greece.